you identify the basic skating maneuvers this defenseman is executing? They are back cross-unders, swizzles, and a 90-degree step out. Three backward cross-unders are followed by swizzles, which keep the defender in balance. The step out is accomplished by turning his chest at the puck carrier while balancing on the inside edge of the inside skate. He comes heel to heel and steps out at a 90 degree angle. It is important that the defender controls the attacker's stick with his stick. This is another view of proper one-on-one -on -one defense. A closer look shows how the defenseman maintains his balance. On the step out, he pushes off on the inside edge of his inside skate. With one hand on the stick, the defender turns his chest toward the attacker, regrips with both hands as he goes forward, and takes his opponent out of the play. What is the key maneuver on this play? It is a back cross under which the defender uses to change direction as much as 180 degrees. The back cross-under is an excellent maneuver for catching an opponent who may have a step or two on the defenseman. In a one-on-one -on -one situation, this defender is employing a pumping motion with his left leg to keep the puck carrier on his outside shoulder. There is no cross under. He remains in balance and comes chest to chest with his opponent. This defender reacts to the attacker with a loop-de-loop -loop move to change direction. The next player employs a different technique. He uses a side stop to react to the puck carrier. With a flip of the hips, he reverses direction again, retreats with back cross-unders and swizzles, and checks his man into the board. Reacting quickly to the moves of the puck carrier is the key. Show me a good defenseman, and I'll show you a player with exceptional agility. The following drills are all designed to improve agility. In these backward escapes, the players make their moves with both hands on the stick. Notice his head is up as he comes out of the turn. This drill employs many of the skating maneuvers previously discussed. It concludes with two escapes. Add a puck to that same drill, and the degree of difficulty is increased dramatically. This defender is tracing the circles. Speed is important in all agility drills, but proper technique should not be sacrificed for the sake of speed alone. Four cones are positioned in a square on the rink, and the player, using many of the moves we have seen thus far, skates the box. The next player performs the same drill with one major difference. The size of the box has been reduced. His turns are tighter. They demand greater edge control. After quality skating has been attained, players should be encouraged to push themselves to uncomfortable speeds in all drills. This freelance drill allows defenders to use their imagination. It encourages creativity and brings individuality to the player's repertoire. By adding a puck to that same drill, the concentration demands of the players are raised to a higher level. Defensemen work in pairs. 
Their passing and receiving skills must be practiced until they become reflex actions. The diamond drill uses two cones and two players. The skater passes to the player on either side of the diamond and receives passes from them while skating a serpentine route between the two cones. Controlling the puck in the defensive zone begins with a player surrounding the puck. With his head up, he looks for open ice or an open man while carrying the puck. After stopping a shot, the goalkeeper sets the puck up for his defenseman, who makes a direct escape, carries the puck, and passes to the next man in line. Notice how the defenders approach the puck from the side, surround it, and begin to skate up ice. The defenseman must look over his shoulder to determine where the pressure is. This is a direct carry. And this player demonstrates an indirect carry. In these game action examples, on a one-on-one -on -one situation, this player uses the net properly to cut off the forechecker. By cutting in as close to the net as possible, the defender takes the forechecker out of the play. What happens when the defenseman takes too wide an angle on the net? The forechecker gets inside position and beats the defender. This player does it correctly. Coming up next, three different escapes. It's one-on-one -on -one as the defender comes to the near post and beats the forechecker with a direct escape. The second move is an indirect escape. The defender, seeing pressure coming down the far side, makes an indirect escape and, with his head up, carries the puck out of the zone. This defender, with pressure approaching down the boards, makes a board escape. Watch... The upcoming scenes feature techniques for controlling the puck in the neutral zone. For photography purposes, the players are seen more in their own zone. A forechecker forces the defender to retreat. He buys time and stick handles around the man. Keep your eye on the defenseman's head. He's looking up, sees the forechecker, and with two hands on his stick, executes a perfect escape while accelerating out of the zone. How is this maneuver different from the preceding scene? This player makes his escape with one hand on the stick. Again, with his head up, he accelerates out of the zone. The transition from defense to offense demands teamwork. This play starts with a pass off the boards from one defender to another. This time, with a four-checker between the two defenders, a D-to-D -D pass off the boards is the solution. In this scene, number eight executes a reverse with his partner by passing the puck back off the boards. Add a four-checker to that last scene, and the reverse is no less effective as the defenders move the puck out of the zone. Watch number eight use the boards effectively with a pass to his partner. The puck should come off the boards at the same angle at which it hits them. Sometimes the only way to get the puck out of your zone is with a release pass high off the boards. Or by lofting it with an alley-oop pass. When no headman is available and there is open ice, the defenseman should carry the puck out of the zone himself. Remember, when doing this, the player must keep his head up to avoid unpleasant surprises. <laughs> 